Hello, folks. Welcome to Africana Institute of Technology. I am so excited that you are here to learn about Security Plus hands-on labs. Uh, maybe you are self-studying, right? You've picked up Jason Dion's course or Professor Mesa's course, or you went to Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, and you're using all these resources to you know, help you prepare, but you feel like you're missing some kind of a hands-on. Well, you've come to the right place. The goal of this free training really is to give you the hands-on experience that you need in those labs that goes with your Security Plus. Now, before I get ahead of myself, who am I? My name is Francois. I am the founder of uh, Africana Institute of Technology, AIT. And the promise of uh, our school is to not only give you the theory and help you pass the certification, but also give you the hands-on experience that goes with it. Um, a mentor of mine once said that a certification is supposed to serve as a testimony to your skill set, right? Not only a piece of paper that says that you can get the job done, but in a reality, you can't. So on a daily today uh, today job, I work for Isaka. I am their uh, performance-based training engineer, which basically means I get to create hands-on that they include into their trainings, right? Their, their certifications. And you can see why I am so big when it comes to learning by doing, right? Get yourself some hands-on uh, experience. I used to work for Cybercraft, THTWGU, and Virginia College, and all these positions were in training. So hopefully I can, you know, train you, right? Education-wise, I do have a master's degree in cybersecurity, and that's from WGU, and I have quite a few certifications. As you can see, I am all over the places. All right, oh, I know you're ready to just dive right in and set up everything. But before we do that, let me get you up to the speed with what exactly we're going to be doing. So first thing we're going to do is download and install all the tools that we need, all right? VirtualBox, our hypervisor. Then we're going to import Kali Linux on top of VirtualBox. Then we're going to do the same thing for Metasploitable, right? And once we're finished with these, we're going to kind of uh, configure the connectivity and make sure they all communicating. So we will say we, we, we will configure our virtual box the way we want it and then kind of uh, connect, you know, the Kali Linux on the same switch and Metasploitable and our physical machine. It's going to be fine. And just make sure that everything is communicating. Last thing we're going to do is upgrading your Kali Linux. I want to make sure you have all the latest tools as we dive into the next few hands on, you know, kind of a lab. Uh, security labs uh, together. That being said, that's it. Let's let's dive right in. All right. So the first thing you need to do here is to download VirtualBox. So go to Google and just go to VirtualBox or Google VirtualBox or just go to VirtualBox.org. Then once you're here, click on Downloads. Right, you see the download section there. Then uh, download your Windows or click on a Windows Host for you to get started downloading VirtualBox for your Windows. If you are on Mac, you know, click on the second one. All right, once the download's finished doing what it does, double click on it. I will take you to the whole process of, you know, installing this. So the pop-up box will come up, just click on yes. And Windows is gonna start doing the, it's, I mean, VirtualBox is gonna start doing its whole downloading. Click next, then click next again. Make sure all of these are selected on the custom setup, then click next, click yes, and then click on install. All right. So this is just it, it's it's just gonna go ahead and, and finalizing the whole installation process for our virtual box, our hypervisor, right? The software that we're gonna use to install operating systems on top of the, the host operating systems that we have here. All right. So this is just gonna take about a few seconds to finalize everything. And here we are, it's finished. So click on finish. And we are good to go. So it should start automatically. If it didn't, just go to the start menu and just search for Oracle VirtualBox or just type in VirtualBox and then you know, you know know select it from there. All right, let's uh, minimize that for a second. The next thing we need is Kali Linux. So go to Google and just Google Kali Linux or just go to Kali.org. And once you're here on their you know, website, click on downloads. And then right here, what we need 
uh, is the virtual machine. I, I don't want you to download the bare metal because that's you know that takes forever for you to finish the whole installation process. So click on the virtual machines, and that's gonna scroll down where you're able to see the 32-bit and 64-bit, and you see the two versions, one for VMware and another one for VirtualBox. So make sure 64-bit is selected. Again, you're gonna have to double check with your systems. You know, make sure that you have a 64-bit system which you should, uh, I mean, all the computers now are almost 64 bit. So anyway, 64-bit uh, selected, then click on VirtualBox. Right? That's gonna go ahead and just download, you know, the whole thing for you. Now, if you wanna be a little bit more technical, you can, as soon as this one is finished downloading, you can uh, check the hash, right? We're talking about integrity, right? You can check the hash of it, making sure that you've got the original file. So Kali Linux, I uh, made it that easier for you. The next thing we need to do here is downloading Metasploitable. Metasploitable is our vulnerable machine that we're going to be using as we start attacking and, and do, you know, come kind of some end map scanning, all that good stuff. So go to sourceforge.net and just go to project and search for Metasploitable. Or you can find these links into the description below uh, under this video. I'll put the links there as well. But once you're here, Click on downloads the latest version and it's going to start downloading Metasploitable before you. Right, it's going to take about five seconds and you get, get the whole downloading go, going. Another thing, last thing that we need to do, because we need to extract these files, they are zipped. For example, like a Metasploitable is, is, is zipped. So download 7-zip. So go to Google, just Google 7-zip and then click on the link or just can just go to 7-zip.org and then downloaded the 64-bit version, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on keeping, because I'm keeping this. <laughs> and I double click on the file itself, click on yes. I'll uh, click on install. It, it, it's a very light program. It's gonna take about a few seconds to install. Uh, and right now it's it's already finished. All right, now once you're downloading, you know, Metasploitable and, and everything is ready to go, we, again, drag it. If it's in your downloads folder, just drag it into the folder where you're gonna be organizing everything from. Now you can copy and paste here, you can just drag it here and just remove it from your downloads location. All right, now that we're here, uh, the thing we need to do here is organize this a little bit better. So I'm gonna right click on Metasploitable. I'm gonna extract the file here. Yeah, you, you use 7-zip because that's the one you downloaded, right? Go to 7-zip and then just go to extract file here. Uh, it's going to just take a few seconds to extract everything. And as it's doing that, let's go ahead and rename this Kali uh, machine. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to name. I'm going to delete everything except Kali Linux. I'm going to make the K capital as well. Click somewhere. There we go. As, as you can imagine, I like to, you know, stay organized here, right? And it uh, looks like it finished It finished everything. There we go. So I double click on the folder and then we have everything we need. All right. So that's everything you need to download. The next thing we need to do is getting, get, you know, getting everything up and running. So we're gonna go back to VirtualBox, make that full screen. Now, once you're here, all you gotta do here is just import your Kali Linux and, and set up your Metasploitable. So click on import. Then click on that little uh, folder looking thing here. That's going to take you to your Fire Explorer and browse into the location where you have you have all your files. So I have mine into the labs, security plus, and zone labs, OVA files, and I'm going to start with Linux. I'm going to click on that, click on open, click on next. And you can scroll here to make sure everything is correct, which it is. Click on import, click on I, I agree or agreed. And it's gonna go ahead and just get started with the whole importing process. Now, this might take a minute. This might take a minute. I'm gonna pause the video, then I will resume it as soon as this one is finished. All right, uh, to the power of editing. It looks like we are finished. <laughs> it looks like the whole thing finished in importing. All right, so let's go and just get started with the rest. So the first thing I need you to do here, all right, it's right click on a Kali Linux, 
and go to settings. And first of all, let's just change the name, right? I don't like that thing. So let's just keep a Kali.Linux. That looks good. All right. Another thing we're going to do here is, first of all, if you click on the description, you'll be able to see the usernames and passwords. So right here, you can see that we have Kali. It's the username and the password is Kali as well. So I'm going to just show you this just in case. All right. Another thing we're going to do here is just go to system. All right, under the system, go to processor and make sure there's two core of the processor. Right. And uh, as far as the memory goes, make sure you have the 2048. That's just two gigabyte. All right. Last thing we've got to do here is go to network. All right. The network section. Then click on the NAT. All right, we'll see where it says attach to. Click on NAT. Then click on a bridged adapter. Now, the reason why we're bridging the adapter, we want our Kali machine to be able to communicate with our physical machine. Right, our virtual machine, guest machine, to communicate with our host machine. So that's, that, that, that's the whole reason why we're doing this. And as soon as you finish with that, click on OK. And there we go. Kali is done. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is to bring on Metasploitable. Right? And what, uh, the way we're going to do that is click on a new. Right? I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to just, just call this Meta. <laughs> Be like what Facebook did, right? All right or you, you can just call it Metasploitable. Uh, I'm just going to call mine Meta. And uh, you see where it says version? First of all, you see where it says types? Change that to Linux. All right, click on it. Just change that to Linux. You see where it says version? Let's ch let's choose Ubuntu 64-bit. Right? Just make sure Ubuntu 64-bit is selected. Click on next. And right here, the memory just keep on just one gig. That's okay. It's not a big pro a big uh, uh, system. And right here, you see where it says create virtual hard disk. So what we're gonna do here, just click on a use existing virtual hard disk. Okay. Then click on that little folder and then go to add. And right here, let's go into the location where we have that thing. So I'm going to go to uh, labs and go to security plus labs, OVA file, made exploitable. And this is the file we're looking for, this guy. I'm going to click on that. Click on open and choose. Make sure it is selected, then click on create. That's it. That's all you have to do. Last thing we're going to do with the meta is meta exploitable is uh, click on settings, right click on it and just go to settings. And once you're here, go to network, make sure they're connected on the same network. All right. So go ahead and just bridge the adapter here as well. So click on bridge the adapter. That way, Kali, Meta, and uh, and my host machine, they can all communicate all together. Okay, click on OK. And it looks like these two are up and running. So let's fire them up. So double click on the Kali Linux uh, for, you know, Kali to start the whole, you know, boot up process. Then uh, double click on uh, Meta, Meta exploitable. And let's just give it a second for the two systems to set up. All right, looks like Meta is not coming up. And uh, it might be the USB. Yeah, of course it is. So I'm going to click OK with the Meta. And what I'm going to do with the Meta, right click on again, go to you know settings. And right here, go to USB and just turn this off. I just you see where it says enable USB controller. Just make sure that's you know deselect that and click OK. Right, that should that should solve the problem. So right click on the meta again and go to start. Do a normal start. Okay. All right. That, so that's gonna kind of solve that problem. Let me see if Kali is up. Kali is up. So let's go ahead and just sign in into Kali. Let me make this full screen. Can this be a full screen? Well, uh, let, let me just keep it the way it is. All right. You guys can see this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click on Kali. Kali. As I click, I'm going to just, you know, type in username Kali, password Kali. Click on login. 
and it looks like I'm typing a bit too fast. All right, there we go. So Kali Kali, username Kali, password Kali, and you are in. All right, looks like we're in. Let's make this big screen now. There we go. As it's coming up, let me check in Meta, or Meta exploitable, see how far we are. Looks like it's still coming up, 73%. All right, let's go back to my Kali. Two things we need to do here. Let me go ahead and just make this uh, bigger for you. Full screen. All right, for, first of all, let's check the IP address here. So I'm gonna type in ifconfig, and it looks like we have an IP address. So if zero is our interface of uh, our card, and right here is telling me your INET is 192.168.1.170. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, open up my notepad and write it down. Right. And this is where Take Notes comes in. You can use any note taking application that you want. So I'm going to just, just use Notepad for a minute. All right. I'm going to just say um, uh, security plus uh, labs. Right. I'm just going to this lab zero. Once we're here, let's just say Kali IP. Kali IP. I'm just going to call this one and two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one seventy. All right. And I'm going to just say meta and host. All right. All of these are going to be their IP. And there we go. All right, looking good. So now that we have the Kali IP address, let's go to my physical machine. Let's go to CMD. All right, command prompt. So go to physical machine and search for CMD. Type in CMD and then just click on command prompt. This is going to come up and right here type in IP config. Not IF config, it's IP config. I'm going to scroll up a little bit until I can see my Wi-Fi. And I am looking for IPv4, so that right there. All right, so 192.168.1.68 is my IP address. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a note of that. 101.68. All right, we have that there. Last thing we need is uh, Metasploitable's IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and just open that up. I'm going to minimize this so that way I don't confuse you. Make that a little bit bigger here. Hopefully you can see this. There's no way I can make this bigger. So the username and password is here somewhere. So as, as uh, right now, it's going to tell you the last line here says login with MSF admin and the password is MSF admin as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and just type in MSF admin and the password is MSF msf admin one more time and we are in all right we're in now that you see the dollar sign there now we don't really have to do anything else here other than you know maybe checking their ip address so i'm going to just do if config and right here is telling me the ip address is the inet right, the second line for eth0 right there i'm not sure if you can see it but it's telling me that uh, the IP address is 192.168.1.171. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that there. 192.168.1.171. The last thing that we need to do here is to make sure that these computers are communicating before we update our Kali, of course. So what I'm going to do is just ping everything. So I'm going to just ping Kali from my Meta, uh, Meta Exploitable Machine. So 192.168.1.170, right? I'm going to hit enter. It looks like we are pinging, right? It looks like everything is working okay. So I'm going to control C on my keyboard. And I will go to my Kali here. And let's ping the uh, meta. So ping 192. Dot, if my ping will work, ping. 192.168.1.171. Right, that's my Meta's IP. I'm going to hit enter. And it looks like the Meta is responding. Looks like they're communicating okay. All right, last thing I need to do is go to my physical machine and ping both of those machines. 
So I'm going to go to CMD one more time, I right, command prompt. I'm going to open command prompt. And now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just ping Kali. So I'm going to ping 192.168.1.170. And it looks like it's it's pinging, right? It looks like my physical machine, it's communicating with my Kali machine. Fantastic. I'm just going to clear that. All right, I'm going to ping my Meta machine, Metasploitable. So 192.168.1.171. It looks like that thing is pinging as well. Fantastic. All right, one last thing. Let's make sure that we can ping the physical machine. So I'm going to go back to Kali. Okay, let me ping 192.168.1.68. I believe that was the IP address of the physical machine. Yeah, the host machine, 68. Yep. So yeah, it looks like everything is working okay. Right? Everything is working out okay. I'm going to do Control C again. Last ping, it's going to be from my Meta machine. So Meta here, let me clear the screen by typing clear. I'm gonna type in ping one more time, 192.168.1.68. I am pinging my physical machine and it looks like we are in business. So everything is pinging okay. Everything is pinging okay. Now, one last thing here, if your systems are not pinging. Go back, check your switch, your virtual switch. So right click on the system, go to settings, and then go to the network. Make sure you've bridged the adapter. Right? And do the same thing for Meta as well. I, 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 like this is the most common reason why your systems will not ping. It's if it's they're not connected on the same switch. My systems are, and that's why they're ping up, pinging okay. Last thing we need to do here, I'm gonna clear the screen by you know typing clear. Last thing we need to do is update our Kali and upgrade our tools. So what I'm gonna do is become root. So I'm gonna do sudo su dash, and that's gonna ask me for my password. I'm gonna type in Kali, that's the password. And I'm gonna hit enter. Now I am root, which means I, I, I have the key to the kingdom. So what we're going to do here is opt get update. So the first thing we're going to do is just update all the tools. I'm going to hit enter and Kali is going in, it's doing all the update. This is just going to take about a few seconds. The only thing that's going to take a long time is, is to upgrade all the tools. Right, that's going to take a while, um, but the update uh, should have finished in a second here. There we go. Looks like it's done. All right, another thing we're gonna do is opt, get, oh, I should say install, but let me just go ahead and just do upgrade. Hit enter, they're gonna ask me, hey, Francois, are you sure you wanna do all this? I'm gonna say, yep, absolutely. Just type in yes, and then hit enter on your keyboard, and off you go. All right, so this is gonna take some time. Right? This is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna, to the power of editing, I'll be back. And uh, if there's any pop ups, I will resume the video and talk about those as well. All right, it looks like they're asking me there's a little pop up here that's asking me about the configurations of libc6. So all you're gonna do just uh, on your keyboard, uh, use your arrows, you know, your down arrows, just go to yes, all right, make sure yes is highlighted, it's selected, then just hit it enter again. And that's going to get going. So if there's any pop ups, just click, you know, just agree to it, basically. All right. Uh, it looks like Kali just finished uh, upgrading all the tools. And that's exactly what we wanted. All right. So and this concluded this video. I will see you guys in the next video.